Well, good morning, y'all, and welcome. Welcome to our very first morning coffee. Something new I'd like to try to see if we could address a couple of different little topics that this isn't an assignment, this isn't something you need to turn in, but it's things that I hope will help you with your education and it'll give us something a little bit more like what our classroom time usually is. I'm used to going into my class and addressing my students and so, good morning, y'all. Now, for today's first coffee morning, right, I have chosen a topic and our topic is going to be achieving normalcy. Achieving normalcy. So we're going to talk about each of those words, break them down real quick, and I'm going to give you a couple of little steps, but first, I have to press my coffee. Now, over these past few weeks, I've been working really hard to uh, accomplish a lot of things at the same time, making assignments, grading assignments, taking care of my family, taking care of my husband, taking care of myself. And so this seemed like a very appropriate topic for everybody right now, achieving normalcy, because let's face it, we're not in a normal situation. This is something not any of us, I think, could have really predicted or anticipated. So let's try to figure out a couple of little ways to cope, shall we? All right. Number one, you need to cultivate patience, all right? Being patient, I'm aware, is not easy. However, it is the key to all of this. It really, really is. Um, cultivating patience is something we can address more deeply on another morning coffee session, but you need to know that step one in achieving some sense of normalcy is going to be being patient. And not just with the people perhaps in your home, but being patient with the situation. We don't know how long this will last. And then last but not least, be patient with yourself. Like I said, this is something we'll talk about a little bit more in detail on another session, but right now, be patient with yourself. Even if it's just one or two times a day that you find yourself becoming frustrated, and it's easy to do in a situation like this. We are sharing our space with a lot of people we are not normally sharing our space with. Normally, we are at school. You're at school, I'm at school. Right now, nobody's at school. We're all here. And so I have to cultivate patience with my own children. They have to cult cultivate patience with me. And that means that when we become frustrated, we have to take a moment. You have to stop before you become frustrated. And it's finding that moment to stop and tell yourself, I'm not going to let this frustrate me. I'm going to take a step back and then you move on, right? Be patient. We all need that right now. Um, you want people to be patient with you, so let's be patient with other people, especially the people we're close to, all right? Number one, be patient. Number two, talking about achieving normalcy. The word achieve means you're going to attain something or get something, accomplish something, and we are continuing to do it. That's why I've said achieving. We didn't achieve it already. It's not past tense. It is current. We are doing it right now and we are continuing to do it so continue to work on that achieving that normalcy achieving that patience right now about the normalcy part normal is different for everybody we each have our own idea of what is normal and what is a good normal as well there's lots of different good normals and this is one of mine you know how much i love to start my day with coffee i have it in my classroom it starts here at my home i love to brew coffee in my home I've got my little coffee thing back there and choosing a mug that makes me smile like this one that is a part of my normalcy my good normalcy i feel like i'm waking up i'm starting my day i've got my coffee your normalcy might be different you might find normalcy is sleeping until 10. maybe your normalcy is taking uh some time outside to play soccer or to take a walk or something like that your normalcy might be to sit down and draw a little bit every day. Remember, normalcy will be different for everybody. But find something. Your task will be find one thing to focus on. And for me, morning routine. I get up, I get ready for the day, and I make my coffee because that gets me in a good mindset to start my day, to continue my day. Find one thing to focus on and do it. Make sure you don't overwhelm yourself. Some of us can take multiple things, like when I like to get ready and have my coffee. That is actually two things. But if you're finding that you start too big and you try to do too many things and focus on too many things, if you start big, it can collapse on you. If you start small, it's easy to build. So again, if anything, at the very least, choose one thing. Now, number three is consistency. Like I said, I do this 
every day. Every day means you're, so you're being consistent. Continue to do it. It's a practice. We continue to do it. And again, practicing certain things, cultivating good habits that again, would be another great topic for one of these coffee mornings. But again, be consistent with it. Make sure you're continuing to do it because if you don't, then you might start feeling more blue. We don't want to feel blue. We want to make sure we make it through this together, you guys. So let me remind you of those three tips real quick again. All right. Number one, be patient. All right. Make sure that you're cultivating patience, not just with the people around you and with the situation, but cultivate patience within yourself. Number two, choose one thing to focus on. Don't start too big. You want to make sure you're able to continue doing this. So pick one good thing to focus on. And number three, of course, is to be consistent. Practice it. Do it each day. These are going to be the little key things I want you to work on. Now, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop me some comments below. Feel free to message me through my email or even through Remind if your parents have the Remind app. Um, again, I really enjoy having uh, moments to talk face to face with my students. And since we can't be there in person, I figure this is the next best thing. Until tomorrow, you guys, have a wonderful day.